From the very beginning, man has been a hunter. And then, I showed up. I about freaked and jumped out of the stand. If they take off like a scalded dog, they're probably guilty. Rumor has it that in all the places my boots have tread, a lot of animals wound up dead. I reckon so. It's not something to be proud of. It's just how it is. I got a gun, but I don't hunt with it much. I kind of like knowing that each hunt may be my last. There's no skill in calling predators into a hundred yards. But you know you're good when you can smell their breath. And I may be a lot like coyotes I've shot in the head. For sooner or later, I'll wind up dead. Today on Relentless Pursuit, I will deliver multiple death shots throughout the program. Viewer discretion is advised. So today we search the dark continent for predators of the night. Beneath the stars of Africa, we shine the forest in hopes of spotting the eyes of our prey. For they hunt the night as we will, searching the shadows as we move along the road. I'm hoping our paths will cross. The action will be intense, and it all starts right now. As the sun begins its descent, nocturnal hunters prepare for the hunt. While roaming the night, I'm hoping our paths will cross. From atop a Land Rover, we search the shadows for eyes, often stopping and calling, praying that the unsuspecting will come to the calls of death. I'm hoping to kill the cats of Africa, or perhaps a jackal or hyena. An African skunk is the first to show, for the squeak of a mouse is a universal language for calling predators. The skunk is well within range, for the red light is invisible to his eyes. Well, we didn't get to shoot that one because those are illegal. What it's it called, Pops? Skunk, right? Yeah, yes. Some kind of African skunk? So, yeah, African skunk, and it's a protect protected. It's protected, African so, skunk. Well. Yeah. But just the fact that we got one that close is pretty cool. All right, now let's find something we can hunt. A bush pig searches for food, oblivious to the potential death I hold in my hands. Seldom seen in the daylight, this small pig is searching for roots and berries. He actually has walked directly under the Land Rover. A bat-eared fox is cruising the trail just ahead of our rig. He too is hunting the night for insects and small rodents. Protected by law, I must let him live. They often travel in pairs and sometimes triples. right over here. All right, that's the bat-eared fox, right? Yeah. Tell us a little bit about him. Well, he's not a, he's not a predator at all, although he's called a fox, though. He's a, 
little anteating um, termites and stuff. So he goes around digging up termite hills and stuff. And that's why he has this the bat-eared fox. That's why he's called the bat-eared fox because he has these large ears <laughs> that when he walks, he points his head down like that and he uses these ear, um, big ears to detect where the termites and stuff are. So yeah, it's it's pretty much a. But I think though it could go for occasional um, mouse mouse or two. Yeah. <laughs> the hunt we've spotted a large Janet cat but he won't finish to the call so despite the mamas and pit vipers I've left the truck and moved in on the cat but it's too thick. I'm trying to find a hole to thread my arrow. This is, this is the large Janet cat species. <laughs> Our trackers are pretty excited, so I'm not sure what they're saying. But uh, And it's been my dream to kill five species of cats in Africa. I've got a couple down, more to go, but what a beautiful animal. Gee, many. I actually think that the little one I shot is a prettier animal. But uh, this one is pretty cool and unique in itself, too. The Janet cat. Look at the face. Isn't that neat? Zoom right in on that buck. Isn't that neat? Buck, you can catch the snakes and I get the cats. It's a good combination. I hear Peter coming through the woods. We're on a roll, Pete. Moly. Is that a nice one or what? That's a huge male. A huge male. Wow. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly. Where did you shoot him, Tim? Through the heart. Right through, through, right through the heart. Yeah. Holy shepherd. Yes, this is a huge one. Yes. This is a now, huge Now, this is a different species. Yeah, that's this big spotted. This is the big spot. Yeah. And the other one is the small spot. Small spot. You shot him right through the shoulders, right through the shoulders. Yes. Yes, but this is a big male. Look at him. Yes. yes he's got trophy Ooh, balls. Oh, no. He's very beautiful. Holy moly. He's a huge cat. I don't uh, I don't know if anyone's ever shot one on video with a bow, but I bet uh, but we're probably the first one. Well, most probably, yes. All right. Well, did your arrow illuminate? Uh, yes, it did. Yes, that, it did. That's perfect. That's perfect. Congratulations. No, for congratulations for you. Uh, <laughs> Holy moly. All right. Thanks a bunch, man. No, you're welcome. Good spotting too, Buck. All right, let's go, guys. We need to take some photos. Okay. Much like the coyote, the jackal is very elusive. Shots are often far, and when you get the shot, you better take it. I got him. I got him. It's a beautiful jackal. Beautiful coat on him. Look at that. Tremendous animal. <laughs> All right. Got him right in the noodle. He's leaking blood. How's the picture look, Smiley? Beautiful, clean. No, not the, not me, the dog. Yeah, it's clean. A 
Whispering Hare is on the run. I'm trying to take the shot, but the ride is a wild one. It's no use. We'll have to stop. I'll take a long shot. calling predators and uh, I got a spring hare and as you can see they're a cross between a kangaroo and a rabbit and what beautiful creatures they are their hair is just soft as silk they've got this beautiful long tail on them and uh, what a neat trophy to bring back to United States from Africa they got giant eyeballs that's because they're nocturnal and that's why when you shine the light on them, it looks like like a deer's eyes. They're huge. This is the first one I've taken with my bow. It's pretty exciting. We got more to come though. Stick with us. After taking the spring here, I've missed a chip shot on a big jackal. With each new turn in the road, more animals are revealed beneath the lights. This stretch of jungle is called Death Row. Leopards have killed many villagers along its route. And the Cape Buffalo seemed to dare us to get down off the rig. After finding a big herd of buff near the village, we came upon a small lad that is treed by the buff. Where are you going now? I'm going at the gate at the house there. I'm in Neto's young brother. But why are you walking around this time of night? No, I didn't come at this night. I come at around the half past six. So I saw they made the road there. I tried to go around the other way. They were blocking this way. He's been in the tree for three come. hours. Come on and get in. The buffalo ran him up the tree. <laughs> <laughs> yes, half past six I was coming from the workshop, you see. Mm. I was lifting up some weight a little bit, you see. So when I reached this pole here, I saw them, there were three. You see. The bulls. We found it funny, but he was horrified. After dropping the boy off near his village, I came upon a lifetime trophy. A small genet has come to the call. Get the light, headlight, go find him. Well, I didn't get a leopard, but this is just as good to me. The genet cat, and uh, look at the spots, how beautiful it is. This is just a tremendous trophy. So exciting. Peter, thanks, buddy. Thank you very that much, awesome. Tim. I mean, it, I, there's not another animal in Africa unless I speared a buffalo that I would want more than this. No, congratulations. And like I said to you, it's a small spot of Janet. The, the big spot at the end has got this white fluff. It's a beautiful cat. Beautiful shot right through the head. Thank you. <laughs> All right. You're watching Relentless Pursuit. We're in Africa, and Peter's putting us in the animals. This is something great. So we got the trackers. They help us find bucks. Warthog. We got the Land Rover, and we got thousands of hectares of land to hunt, and we're just getting started, so stay with us. A spotted genet has crossed the road. Buck's taking the shot now. Shooting, bucko. Thanks, Tembo. We turned on the uh, night and hail action pack call on him, and uh, I had just missed an African wildcat, 
and when we shined around, there was this cat. What's this? Tell us a little bit about this cat. Oh, uh, well, small spotted Janet that mostly, you know, hunts all the little small predators. Um, like not predators, I mean like little mice and stuff. Um, it's a, a unique little cat, little leopard, as you can see, the little spots and stuff. Um, likes hiding in the trees and stuff. And uh, hopefully we can tag out an African wild cat or a caracal, caracal cat or civet cat. Most elusive is the African wildcat. Only a glimpse is caught on film. Aha! Did you get that buck? Yep. <laughs> there is an excellent shot. <laughs> but a fast shot anchors the beast in its tracks. <laughs> Put the light on. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Look at that! Wow! The African wildcat! A big tom! Ah! Wow! Whoa! Look at the striped legs! Beautiful! One of the few wildcats that can be domesticated. Look at that tail! I've got a guide and a half. Get down here, buddy. I'm going to give you that kiss I've been promising you. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Is this a big one or what? It's pretty huge. You look at the head. It's massive. Look at that head. I thought it was a character running there. <laughs> That's a great, 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 great animal. What a great trophy. What a tremendous very, very night we're having. Buck just shot a huge spotted jennet, and now I've taken the African wildcat. We've bagged three of the five species so far. That's great. Man, I must say this was a lucky shot I made on this one, but he was uh, <laughs> taking a run for it. Hit him out there at about 60 yards. Right here with relentless pursuit. <laughs> Love that hat, man.